everybody, it's Bourbon Bill. And tonight, a very special episode. We're diving back into one of my favorite distilleries and talking about the ever-increasing age of Knob Creek Picks again. Video 2. Focusing on the ever-increasing age of Knob Creek, rye this time. Link it above. I did a video focusing on the ever-increasing age of Knob Creek picks. Are we back again? And now it's time to talk about the rye. Okay, 2023. Let's just, we'll do a quick recap for those that were challenged, don't remember. Got too much going on. But go watch the video, honestly. It was a great video. Got a lot of views. Okay. Here's Knob Creek 12, delicious, killer, love it. Unfortunately, it's now like $72 hairs in PA. It used to be like $59.99. But whatever, you can still find cheaper other places than, than $72 hairs, but still a good value. Our old video, episode one, centered on this bad boy right here, AKA, you can't handle the proof, from Drug City in Baltimore, Maryland. Now. This pick here was an 11-year-old store pick. Let that sink in. 11-year-old store pick. Okay, had not seen the likes of them for at least four years or so. Um, you know, they usually do store picks in the, in the, in the 12, 13, 14, 15-year range. And they were all nine-year after that, right? All nine-year, good luck, nine-year and two months. That's all you got. And then in 2023, last year, came this 11-year store pick. Oh, oh, honey, how are you? Delicious. Loved it. We're not going to ever talk about this one tonight too much, except haven't seen any more 11 years, sadly. My prediction was that the age of those Knob Creek picks was going to go up again. I've seen some 10 years. I saw other 10 years in 2023, and I've seen some more 10 years in 2024, but I haven't seen any other... 11 years or higher for 2024. So if you have, drop a comment below. I'd like to know. This is like research at its finest. So with that, I got rid of the bottle because it was not great and I got a different one. Okay, so that's where we're going to start right there. But I had like a, it wasn't even a six year old Knob Creek store pick rye. Okay, and it was good, but it got beat by like the Knob Creek seven year 100 proof. It got beat by clearly the Knob Creek 10 year 100 proof that we have here. So all those ryes beat it. So I got rid of it. But in its place, what we're going to talk about tonight is this eight year 10 month pick. That's right. Almost a nine year pick of the rye. Almost a nine year pick. And you know it was nine years old? Their limited edition cash strength rise from 2018 and 2016, I believe. Um, now, I'm here to tell you, I don't have that bottle. My brother-in-law has that bottle. I think he might have finished it. Maybe he still has some. I don't know. Either way, this is better already. You know, the 10-year 100 proof was better than that cash strength limited, and I really like the cash strength limited. That's not taken away from them. I'm just saying. Knob Creek rise has been getting better and better. And finally, here in 2024, we are seeing eight-plus year picks of their rye. 2024 is a year of the rye, whether you want to believe it or not, it is. I may do a separate video on that, so I'm not going to go too in-depth into that. But high-age rye is coming to the market in droves, and you should be scooping them up. But what's really the theme of bourbon in 2024, right? Let's talk about it. Generally overpriced. Bourbon's too expensive these days, right? I mean, Wild Turkey Masters Keep. 300 doll hairs for a 10-year rye. Are they smoking crack? Are they because they're Italian owned making up for the loss of World War II? I don't know. Here's a 10 year rye for 70 doll hairs. Released in 2024. Frankly, F you wild turkey. You greedy sons of bitches. You know, is their 10 year rye better? I don't know. Maybe. Probably not. But 70 doll hairs. 300 from wild turkey. Get the hell out of here. You piss me off. Someone send me a sample so I can even get real mad filming the review. I don't have a sample of it because I'm certainly not buying it for $300 hairs. But it's the year of high age rise. Well, hold on. I'm getting pissed off about thinking about that for a second. 
You know what else released this year? Short Barrel released, and so did River Roots. Single Barrel picks now of 11 and 12 year old MGP for less than 200, they really have like 100 to like 130 doll hairs. Really old barrel proof rise, and Wild Turkey has the balls or the stupidity to release a 300 doll hair 10 year that's not barrel proof. Get the fuck out of here. It just pisses me off. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm getting off topic. Knob Creek, just the, the pillars of gosh dang value anymore. And really, I'm sorry, Jim Beam is the pillar of value in the bourbon community. Wild Turkey, besides Rare Breed, is gone. And, and I guess Wild Turkey 101, it's gone for value. Their stuff's overpriced. It's very good, but it's overpriced. The only distillery left giving you tremendous value, legacy distillery, is Knob Creek. Let's talk about Hardin's Creek, Jacob's Well Batch 2, $165 hair MSRP for a 17 and a half year old 109 proof beam that so far is leading my bourbons of the year. That's a steal for how old that is. Then you get Knob Creek releasing a 10 year rye for 70 doll hairs. I mean, just, just giving it to you. And this is fantastic, go watch my review of this. And then you got Knob Creek putting older stuff in their picks, which by the way are 115 proof compute, compute 57.5% alcohol by volume, giving you a deal again. So these used to be like five and a half, maybe six, maybe six and a half year. 2024, I've seen a lot of eight. And this one's almost nine. This is one of the oldest I've seen. So again, if you've seen an older one than eight year, 10 month, you let me know. But there's an eight year, 10 month. And shout out to 717 Bourbon Society. Uh, thank you to John from Gentleman and Whiskey. Go watch his channel. He picked this up for me when he was at Sobble's Markets in Maryland. I didn't get a chance, but I missed the tater sticker, John. It says Breaking Amish. It was a cool sticker. It, it would have been cool to go with uh, Mother Tater sticker over here for the other one. But my point is, 2023 and 2024 has brought a lot of price increases. This one, $69.99. 70 doll hairs for almost a nine year rye at 115 proof is a steal. A dang steal. Not even 70 doll hairs for almost a nine year rye. Gosh, what a value. Spend your money where they care about your wallet, okay? Quit spending money at Wild Turkey. Screw them, they're screwing you. Spend your money here where they're, where they're giving you high age stuff at reasonable prices. Come on, folks, come on. We can turn this burn market around if we do just that. Now, I'm sorry, that, I got unhinged on that rant. Just, just makes me so angry thinking about all the people scalping you this year in 2024, but alas, Let's dive into the flavors of an almost nine year, 115 proof store pick from the 717 Bourbon Society. On the news. Golly, there's so much stone fruit, caramel and oak and rye spice. What a fantastic nose. I could smell that all day. I could smell that all day. Just a fruity little caramel rye spice gem, but it's got oak on the nose. That's why you know it's gonna be good. Down the hatch. Oh my God. Oh, is that good? Oh. 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 Stone fruits, caramels, and just a nice wall of oak is all there. God, that's killer. A++++, absolute buy rating. Good job, 717 Bourbon Society. Be on the lookout for older age dry store picks from Knob Creek. Amazing values. Now the Knob Creek 10 year, how does it compare? We're only a year and two months, right? But 15 proof points less. On the nose of the 10 year. Very similar, but the oak is dialed up. We will say, the oak is dialed up here. I get the stone fruits, I get the caramel, but I get a heavier oak presence, and we know we all love the oak here. Down the hatch. Oh, oh. gosh, that's good. Oh, man. 
Mmm. Mmm. More oak. A little bit less of the other things is kind of how that shakes out. Gosh, gosh, which one do I like better? This is this is really tough. And the store pick with the extra proof brings a lot more just overall flavor, but then the 10 year just slaps with that extra oak. But you gotta like the extra oak. Gosh, buy both of them. Oh, I can't pick a winner. It's gonna be a draw tonight. This 10 years is a shelfer, or supposed to be. Just like the 12 year bourbon, you have a 10 year rye. Shelf, shelf bottles. Roughly 70 doll hairs. Nobody else is giving you this age for that price. It's time someone talked about it, and it's time we start rewarding Knob Creek for just what they've been giving us, okay? I think people will take it for granted. I don't think people are really paying attention. Nobody else is giving you that value. Okay, so I say all this to say, keep your eyes sharp whenever you see a store pick. Could be an 11 year bourbon. Could be an almost nine year rye at this point. These are the oldest examples I've seen of and I now own them. They're phenomenal whiskey. They're top tier whiskey. Um, they will place in the top tens of the year, guaranteed. That's how good they are, okay? Well, this one was last year, so it's not gonna compete this year. Well, I may throw it in for shits and giggles. I may, just to, just to see where she ends up. Actually, I don't remember if I excluded store picks last year, but I'm definitely not this year. So this year, we're gonna include store picks. Sorry if you hate that for the, for the top 10 bourbon to rise of the year, but we are going to. So there you have it. Pick up a Knob Creek and support someone who's supporting your wallet. If you like what you saw tonight, please like, comment, and subscribe, and consider joining Patreon if you want to. Have a good evening. See you next time.